The suspect approached multiple unsuspecting people to lease the same property. In the first incident, the hopeful tenant was defrauded of $9,000 after she paid the suspect a deposit of $4,500 and also required one month rent in advance of the same amount. We are aware that currently there are what one can refer to as fake estate agents who go around and they collect money from different people promising them property that never comes forth. Or you have people who would, uh, in some instances, pretend that they, they live in a particular block of flats and they are responsible for the leasing out of a flat, while they really have no business with that flat. And in that instance, the same thing happens. A lot of people um, pay their money and that money is then lost. He then approached a second potential client and attempted to repeat the same offence, but the client suspected that something was fishy about the whole operation and immediately alerted the city police. Mutseng added that in this incident, the owner of the property had no idea who the estate agent was. Don't rent property that you are not sure it's the owner's property. In this instance, the contract does not even indicate where the property is, so it's just like a contract that says you must give X amount of money but you don't know what you're giving that money for because nowhere in the contract is it reflected what you're paying for. Members of the public, and especially hopeful tenants, are cautioned to verify details of agents that approach them and also verify owners of the proposed property for rent before making any final decisions. Francho Olafir reporting for the News on One.